YouTube, what's good? Rise and grind, rise and shine, I should say. <laughs> Yo, um, just had to wake up. I slept really good last night. I slept like a baby. <laughs> I slept like a baby last night. Um, but yo, needed to make the video. Uh, you know, I was conflict, uh, conflicted or um, on the fence about making my uh, Instagram account public again and my Twitter account public again because, um, you know, like I said, I just needed to reset and detox from years of having those accounts and you know it it was it's not about anybody else it was about me it was about my spiritual energy like i said i felt like i was following a lot of people and more so a lot of people were following me that you know i don't feel were in my best interest or were supporting me and i was following it was vice versa and i just felt like i needed to declutter my social media and i needed to purge my social media and just refresh everything um because you know this this year for me has been a complete uh self-improvement transformation um there are people that i was following that did post positive content and you know if they find this new channel then i appreciate it and if i had nothing but good energy there of course i'll follow them back but for myself i had to purge my social media and reset it um, obviously, except for my YouTube channel and my SoundCloud, because that is more uh, of my sustainable content. But with Instagram and Twitter, I just felt like it was a it was it became more of a, a toxic platform for me. Like, I, you know, I was looking at my insights um, and like, you know, just just the energy that I felt on that page was not the energy that I wanted. Also, that was the old me. That old me is dead now. Um, you know, this is the new me. Uh, I've been reborn. And, um, you know, now I just have a completely different mindset. My focus is completely different. And I, it was time for me to have a fresh start. So um, I'm thankful. Uh, it's crazy, too, because I was worried about photos in my archive, losing them. And as soon as I went over to my sister's house, uh, I went to go pull up on my older sister and she had just a book just full of old photos and it it dawned on me yesterday that yo I have family that has real physical photos like we we got taken away from that when all we had was like uh the disposable cameras and you know you actually had to just take physical pictures everything turned into digital now so we feel like everything is on social media and um it just made me feel good. It was even a different feeling to see the physical photo. Excuse me. It was even a different feeling to see the physical photo versus it being on my phone screen, you know? So like that was a, and we were able to share a moment there in person in life. So uh, we shouldn't underestimate just, you know, old, not old, but just things that are timeless like that. You know, that's why like, even if you bring a, it brings the picture to life when it's in person like that, you know? So um, you know, uh, it's, it's day two for me, um, with my ortho. So, uh, so far, nothing crazy with the headaches. The only thing I got to get used to is my eating patterns, but, um, you know, I'm not trying to stop these gains. I told y'all like the gains ain't stopping, man. The gains can't stop. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Mm -mm, I'm going to have to edit that. <laughs> the gains can't stop, man. So we just got to keep doing what we got to do. Um, the YouTube channel, I do appreciate the growth that I'm seeing, even though it's small growth. I'm not even trying to think about that. This is just a documentation of my journey. And, you know, now I've realized I do have to expand on other websites, on other social media platforms in order to continue to grow this as well. And um, I'm a content creator. I'm an artist. And I just had to stop caring about what people think. You can't care about what people think. And sometimes it is easier said than done. But you really can't care about what people think. Like you have to focus on what's best for you, what feels natural for you. And you just have to continue to pursue in that sense. And um, like I said, though, I, I had to purge the uh, the last social media accounts because I just felt a negative energy from them. Um, just possibly from the individuals that may have been you know, I may have followed originally on that channel, whatever it was, there was a bad essence and a bad energy I felt from those channels. But um, 
I'm just going to continue to pursue further. Uh, this is going to be a quick video here. Uh, rise and shine. I hope everybody has a good day. Let's stay focused, positive, and committed. Don't worry about what other people have to say or think about you when you're on this journey. If you are an artist and you're a creator, don't hold yourself back. Allow yourself to continue to create because it fulfills your spirit. It's a part of uh, helping your spirit. And, um, you know, just continue to move accordingly that way. Don't let anything hold you back. Continue to move forward within this life in a positive mindset. Um, if you haven't, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Mr. Strawn. My Twitter is going to be at Paul Strawn. Um, and uh, we're grown. I'm just going to be as consistent as possible and get into hard grind mode now, especially I don't really have to get into hard grind mode. I can really just continue to do what I do on YouTube. And I think I need to keep that focus of just staying consistent on my YouTube. But, um, you know, um, with Instagram and Twitter, like I said, I felt like they take a lot of spiritual energy from you if you're not, if you don't use them wisely. So I'm really just going to post on there, recycle these YouTube videos for the most part, post them and then get out of there, you know, because um, I got, I, got, I want to keep my spirit pure and I want to keep this momentum and this focus of this grind. I don't want to lose it, you know, so. If you haven't, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be on this later, all right? Peace. Love y'all.